Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel, The Mother Speaks Tarot. My name is Allison. If you haven't already, um, please subscribe. Uh, I'm so close to uh, a thousand subscribers and I'm so excited to get there. YouTube will al allow me to do certain things once I get to a thousand. So if, if you feel inclined, please subscribe. And if you do subscribe, thank you so, so much. Everyone who's already subscribed, everyone who's already my viewer, thank you so much. I love your comments. Um, please comment on in the comment section on the video. Let me know how this reading resonates with you. It really is fulfilling for me to hear. Um, for those of you who are new and don't know, I am um, an author. I'm writing an action and adventure love story based on my life and my twin flames life. These are superhero twin flames. It's called Perception, the two yet one. This is book one. Uh, this, this is my character Luna and this is Sunshine, but don't call him Sunshine. He hates that. Call him Sunny. <laughs> I have just finished um, reading book one aloud live on Facebook and I uh, uploaded them all here to YouTube for your uh, viewing, listening, uh, pleasure. And uh, if you have already watched, listened, or read book one, no worries. I already have book two written and published. Um, you can find the links to purchase my books from Amazon in the description box below. Yes, that is an MMA octagon. <laughs> These are beautiful, very well-made books. Okay. And like I said, um, they're on Amazon. If you have Amazon Prime, um, you can have it shipped for free. Okay. Also in the description box, you can find a link for my friend April's astrology channel. Check her out. Subscribe. She is awesome. And also, if you uh, would like to book a personal reading with me, the information for that is also in the description box below. Now, for those of you uh, who have been with me since the beginning of my channel, um, you may notice that I have out my first deck of cards today that I was using. This is the Thoth deck. Um, and what I'm doing this month here in the U.S., if you don't live in the U.S., I live in the United States and here, uh, this is February, the month of February and February 14th is um, Valentine's Day where we exchange Valentine's and the day is all about love. And so I was given a message from Isis, why don't you go ahead and take one week of each of this month and, and um, get your messages from a goddess of love. So this week it is Isis. She is um, the oldest I have this beautiful card from the uh, Ascended Masters deck. Um, this is one of my favorite depictions of her. I think it, it looks very much like if she had really lived, this is what she would look like. I think she looks very dignified and queenly and strong and confident. Very queen of uh, wands. Queen of everything. She is very strong in my life. And so this, this week is Isis. Her, your message is coming from her. And then here I have the card from the Keepers of the Light, which I'm still looking up all the, um, all the beings in there because these little pocket-sized um, decks don't come with uh, books. So I'll start using these in a little while. But I love this depiction of her. She looks very young here, very Elizabeth Taylor. Um, but it's very colorful and lovely, and um, I love color. I got out my new rainbow um, organite pyramid, and then I always have Isis right here guarded by my um, white wolf. And so she wanted the Thoth cards. Thoth is her teacher. Um, some people call him Thoth or Thought, but I call him Thoth. Um, as a reader, I read uh, minor arcana cards as messages about your free will, and I read major arcana cards as messages about your divine blueprint. Your divine blueprint is the plan that you created for yourself to learn certain spiritual lessons that, raised, that when learned, raise the vibration of your soul. So we're dealing 
with a sort of uh, destiny, but not really because nothing is written in stone uh, and free will changes everything. All right, so let's get into this. Uh, oh, and also I've been doing Oracle cards at the end and today we're going to be doing the Isis Oracle from Alana Fairchild. They're rather deep, so I will be pulling only one card and then reading from the book because each meaning has uh, a page or two. So I'll be reading that out loud. Let's get into it. Now, at the heart of everything for you right now, um, I see that you want to rush forward into something. This is um, the Knight of Wands. Wands is fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Um, this is uh, passion, okay? Uh, this is a, you, you want to rush forward and make a change. All knights are bringers of change. And I think that what you want to do is just really rush forward and make some sort of change, but you're not, you're holding back. You're holding back with this Prince of Cups, your energy, uh, along with Scorpio and Cancer. This is love energy, you know, so you have passionate love on your mind that you want to, um, rush forward in and offer your ace of wands here a new beginning yet you're holding back because you are um, in control of your emotions and you are very intuitive and something is telling you that it's not time yet and so um, you've got control of your emotions okay you're using your masculine energy um, this masculine energy wants to rush forward this masculine energy is keeping you from doing that because you intuitively know that it's not the right time. Now, at the root of all this, uh, we have the five of discs. This is, um, you are not feeling, you may be beginning to feel left out in the cold as the, the five of discs is uh, that card where you feel left out in the cold, but it's in reverse. So when a card is in reverse, um, in this particular deck, it doesn't have a separate meaning. It means that the energy is not fully manifested, which is why I said right away off the bat that you want to uh, rush forward as something that is very passionate to you, this passionate love, but you're not doing it, okay? You, you want to, but you're not because you're controlling your emotions. So what is at the root of this is um, you may be feeling kind of lonely. You may be feeling left out in the cold. You may be beginning to feel like uh, you might be um, feeling a little bit of some monetary constraints you're, with your wealth. You know, you might be um, watching your pennies and stuff. And um, But also your discs are Earth, Capricorn, Virgo, and uh, Taurus energy. We've got Taurus right here. And Taurus is all about happy home, comfort, um, things like that. And so this, this is you um, doing your best not to feel left out in the cold because you, you want this happy family, but you, you don't quite have it yet. There's someone that you feel very passionate about, you have a lot of emotions for, but you're not going for it yet because it's not quite the right time. And so you're kind of, um, your home life is not feeling completely settled to you. Now here we have the moon upright, okay? Um, this has your energy in it. This is intuition. Um, there's your little symbol right there, okay? And this is right side up. So uh, the, you, you were in the dark about something. You intuitively know that there is something going on. Um, However, you already found out what that was, I think, or you let it go, okay? Because the moon is all about intuition and deceptions, and being in the dark about something. Um, you know that there's something going on. You can't put your finger on it, though. Um, that type of feeling. The moon also represents the sacred feminine, now this is right side up, so this is um, completely manifested. This this thing you were in the dark about, either you let it go because this is the energy that's moving out of your life at this time, either you let it go for the moment, or you found out what it was. 
you've got uh, some illumination on this perhaps. All right, now the next two cards for me as a reader are future cards. In this particular deck now, because they don't have reversed meanings when they are upside down like both of these are, that means for me as a future card that they are both still simply possibilities because like I said, um, free will can change everything. So we read this one first. Oh, and another thing about the moon here is that this is a major arcana card and your own card, your own intuition. So this feeling it was, is part of your divine blueprint. This was something that you were supposed to, to know intuitively. Now here, for you have the um, possibility of a very lusty relationship ahead of you, which is really awesome. This is hot. Um, now this is Leo energy, which is fire energy, um, royal energy, beautiful, you know, but this is also taming the beast inside of you. Our bodies are basically uh, the beast because our body is the animal body that we live in. Okay. And this animal body comes with a lot of, um, instincts, codes, all, things in, in them that as we evolve and grow as beings, as souls, we have to um, deal with the things that our body tells us and our body does that we no longer resonate with. We have to release those things. Like, uh, for example, uh, in, in the wild when you're an animal and you're innocent if you steal food from another animal now well, that's a good thing for you because you get to eat but since we are very aware sentient beings we've grown to realize what it does to the other being that you stole the food from so while you get to eat this other being um, is now dying because of you and because you know that then that's karma and you know see what I'm saying so, and we don't want to hurt other beings anymore. And so what we do is we don't steal or we try not to, you know, there's, I know there's people out there that steal, but it's, it's not, we're, we know that we're not supposed to do that because we're evolving. See what I'm saying? So what you got to do is have a big talk with your body and see how she's got this, um, the, the beast, her inner beast is under control. And she's very free. She's not wearing any clothes. Look at her hair looks very free. Um, she's, you know, this, she's holding the, the cup. Um, I don't want to explain that. Um, but so this, this strength, this lustiness is um, there to uh, develop eventually. And it just hasn't quite gotten there yet. And so the, your next future card is a, a beautiful, beautiful card that this energy is beginning to develop. This is a new beginning in love. For some of you, this could be a child, but for, it looks like to me that it's this passionate love that you want to race forward, but you're holding your heart back because um, you just seem to know that something isn't quite right. Uh, it's... This love isn't ready yet. It's beginning to manifest, though. Here it is. Okay? So I think that this new beginning, um, as a future card, if this manifests, this will happen first. And then you guys, uh, once you get together, uh, you'll be um, having a very hot relationship. But also remember um, to tame the beast inside that, uh, that wants you to do things that you know you shouldn't. The next energy that we read here is um, your hope, okay? And uh, this is the Hermit card. Now, what I think that, see, this isn't fully um, manifested either. So I think what you're hoping for is knowing what you want out of life. And so I think that this is talking to me now. Maybe here's what's going on is, See, what you do when you're the hermit is you go by yourself somewhere you, and you meditate, you go deep inside and do some circumspection and, and try to understand what it is that you want out of life. How are you going to get 
uh, see, this is the egg and the spermatozoa. So some of you may very well be having a, a baby. But um, this star is in his lantern, and the star is all your hopes and dreams, the star card in the tarot. So what you do, you have to do is you have to go inside. And, and you know, he's usually surrounded by darkness. So um, this is, he's usually in a dark night of the soul type deal. That's usually when we do this, this hermit thing. But he's upside down, so you you may want to know. Maybe you don't know what all your hopes and dreams are. Um, maybe that is what you know is there, but you kind of stopped looking for. Um, for others of you, you're hoping to come out of isolation from COVID or from other reasons. You may be hoping to not be alone anymore. The next energy that we read here is your current state of being. Um, now, this is the, the minor arcana strength card. So you've got it, the strength. In, in other decks, most other decks, this is called strength. In this deck, it's called lust. It's when you go after what you want with gusto. But so in a way you have two strength cards here and they are both in reverse. Okay. So I think what you're doing is you're building strength here. You're going to have to summon um, your strength for this last battle. The nine of wands is the wounded warrior energy. It's when you're coming up from this darkness up into the sun. See, here's the moon, right? Dark night of the soul type deal. There's the moon right there too. Okay? And hermit, dark night of the soul type deal. So you may have been, you know, a lot of people have not been um, very happy being stuck at home constantly. But So there's, there's one last battle you probably intuitively know you have to get through. And you have all the strength to get through it. You might even be on the verge of feeling um, defensive, but you've got the strength to get through this last battle. Now let's just take a minute here. We've got earth, fire, and water. Okay, so you're missing swords. You don't have any swords, which is air energy, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius energy that is logic, that is intellect. Um, so you're not thinking, um, I think, uh, so much about this. Maybe um, when you think too much, this is when you start to go into this mode or something. So just pointing out um, that you are not really dealing um, with your air energy at this time. Now, here is your fear. This is a this is a collaboration, but for this this is obviously a love reading to me. I think that you're afraid of a third party situation that you don't know about or that you you wonder maybe you know what I'm saying? This is Anubis and his little jackal, little black dogs down there are jackals. I think, is that the scarab? I think it is. Okay, so, um, yeah, I have a feeling that you're afraid there's going to be some sort of third party situation with this. Okay, you don't want to, and then it would be something um, very fiery, possibly um, a lot of arguments. Now, here is your uh, possible outcome, and I say possible because of the free will deal here. Queen of Cups, okay, this is you. This is you being a master over your emotions. He is a master of his desire. All right. You are strong. You're strong enough to control what you need to 
when you know you need to. Okay? Now, this is reflection. Especially if you are on the verge of doing this hermit. If you want enlightenment, see what he does is he goes inside to, to get enlightenment from within. And so right now you're reflecting. You're reflecting on love. You're reflecting on um, what do you know intuitively? What do you do? Okay. Now, what is at the, the underlying um, energy for all of this at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of, of Cups. You want that happy ending in love. You want a happy family. This is the family that you choose. This is the happy home that you create. Okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and um, pull an Isis Oracle for you. See if there's anything else she wants to tell you, if she wants to clarify what she's been saying here in this reading. Okay. What would you like to tell Pisces? Pisces. Okay. Okay, those had to. Those went falling. I'll just get one of them. I have to pause one moment, please. All right, I'm back. That was further away than I thought it was. And you got um, a card that somebody else got. I think it was yesterday. You got Mother of Life, Nourishment of the Golden Grain Mother. I'll read that for you. Mother of Life. Um, while I'm looking for this, I'll tell you the reason why I named my channel The Mother Speaks Tarot is because um, the, the mother is the sacred feminine, the father is the sacred uh, masculine, and uh, the sacred feminine, the mother, has been suppressed and quieted and um, kept out of view um, for a long time, and the, the masculine has been running rampant as the um, distorted masculine, not the sacred masculine. Things are changing right now. So the reason I chose The Mother Speaks is because my channel is a way for the divine feminine, which is what I, I identify with as a person. I'm a balanced masculine and feminine as myself, but as a person, I am mostly a feminine. And that's so The Mother Speaks through my channel. Okay, so Mother of Life. All right. We can sometimes fall into existing and doing rather than truly living. We only know that this has happened when suddenly our life seems dry, depleted, filled with tasks, or it feels like we are stuck in a rut or habit that may have been comfortable but is becoming stifling and suppressing. Isis, the mother of life, holds the ability to restore even the most numb, resistant, and difficult circumstances and people back to life. She calls to you now, seeking to bestow gifts of life upon you. Be bold and brave. Open your arms and receive. Isis is known as the sustainer of life, able to restore, nourish, and bring to life that which has been cast aside or lost, that which you have considered beyond repair, a lost cause, or deadened. There are parts of your life, beloved initiate, that are ready to receive more life. 
You will be able to recognize this in any discomfort that you are currently experiencing in your life. Discomfort and unfamiliarity is where life is attempting to break through to you, to reach through the walls that you may have once created to protect yourself, but that now you need to either climb over, demolish, or at least open up with some doors and windows. The tricky part is that most often we don't consciously realize that we're not living. It is not until we start to live more trustingly that it becomes obvious that we once were hiding ourselves from life. I have, this is this five... Mm -hmm. This five of discs here. Life is calling you to partake more so of her gifts of experience. This oracle brings encouragement and guidance for you to learn. Got to turn the page here. Hang on. To learn. Skills and practices that nourish you and your community. You have the divine mother within you. How shall how shall you offer nourishment through her? It might be through cooking, through learning to be more present in your body, and taking time to express your feelings or reality, or it might be through taking a dance or yoga class, spending time in nature or with animals, for example. Okay, so uh, learning to be more present in your body, okay? Um, learning to express your feelings. You've been holding back. I think you might be reflecting on your feelings so that maybe you can express them. Wanting to do be the hermit in order to know what they are. Have you been thinking of joining a class or a group, learning a new hobby or skill? The Oracle of the Mother of Life is confirming that you are on the right track, so keep open to opportunities and further instincts about pursuing these matters. No. Instincts are intuition as well. Instincts also come with the body. Okay. Um, all right. The Oracle of Mother Life is confirming that you are on the right track, so keep open to opportunities and further instincts about pursuing these matters. And know that if you are a bit worried that it is a stretch for you, worry. The name of the card is worry. holding it in a weird way so my hand is shaking uh, so if you are a bit worried that it is a stretch for you then it is even more likely you are on the right track stay connected to your heart and give yourself permission to grow this oracle also brings guidance that new people places and things will enrich your life in the near future and if you have been praying for freshness inspiration and more fun Know that your intuitions and urges to reach out and act in new ways are part of how your prayers are being answered now. Okay, so this is your instinct. You're not moving forward, but your instinct is to rush forward and offer this new beginning in passion. Look at how this makes a heart right here. I'm being shown. Um, it, you're, that, yeah, you're ignoring your instincts and holding back on love. Um, Uh, inspiration more fun blah 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 the prayers are being answered now okay the mother of life oracle also asks for patience in the same way that there is a growth cycle required before a child can become an adult and tap into the energy of the mother within to nourish him or herself so too do certain life phases require patience as they mature as you journey into the new life seeking you you will need to be patient as you learn and grow 
you will eventually become very comfortable with that which at first is distinctly uncomfortable. It just takes time, patience, not running away, and being present with yourself just like the mother of life who never leaves you. She is always waiting for your return to her embrace as you open to the new unfoldment of experience in your life. Okay, so, yeah. Oh, pardon me. I just lost my, dang it, I just lost it in the book. Okay, so, patience, yes. Her reference to patience. This could be you hoping that you don't have to be patient. Okay, so, I, I think that what you, you got to do here is, Once you reflect on what you really want, what are your emotions? If you decide that you really care about this person, then I think that you should listen to your instinct. If, if you want to go forward and tell this person about your love and hand them your cup of love, then you should, you should do that, definitely. Because like this card said, there's new people coming into your life. Listen to your instincts. They're there for a reason. Listen to your heart. Okay? And so how much control you have over this situation, I can gauge that by the number of major arcana to minor. And you have one and two and three. So three out of ten cards means that uh, a whole lot of this is in your control. Um, the parts that are part of your divine blueprint is... Um, your, your intuition, I, you should bring this energy back in uh, since this is moving out of your life at this time. This is your energy. This is your intuition telling you. Um, if your intuition is telling you to hold back, then you're doing a good job. But if your intuition is telling you to charge forward and, and you're holding back because of um, worry, Then, then that's not serving you. All right, Pisces, that's what I, well, that's what Isis has for you <laughs> at this time. Thanks for watching. See you again next time.